Well, you would think that somebody would, you know, actually finally kind of be happy. But no, the bullet is not very happy. Matter of fact, she's a tad bit aggravated. <laughs> oh, man. Stay tuned. All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. And guys, back to y'all with some more women's MMA talk. I know you guys kind of missed my straight up just videos on this stuff. And so guys, I'm back doing it. Uh, you know, guys, uh, you know, this is a side of Valentina that I'm glad that she's doing. And she's actually being aggressive, okay? She's aggressively going after Nico Montano, which that's what she's supposed to do. Um, Nico Montano, she came out a couple days ago and she said, hey, you know what, I'm ready to fight. September the 8th, you know, let's do this, let's get it in. And, uh, you know, yeah, man, everybody got excited. But, you know, there's just one question, there's one problem. She hadn't signed the contract. Now, I'm, I'm thinking that here within this week, Nico Montano should be signing the contract. I, I think she will do it. I think it's going to happen, okay? And that's just the way that is. I think she'll do it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's probably a little irritating to Valentina that, you know, hey, you know, I've been here, I've been working, I've been training, and, you know, you've had ample opportunities to take this fight, and, you know, you've had enough time to recover from injuries and yada yada. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, okay, so Valentina getting a runaround. And I think Nico got the attitude like, look, I've signed this contract and I'm ready. You don't tell me what to do. You're not dictating to me when I sign the contract. And I think that's Nico's attitude. You know, okay. But I still think this fight gets done. I think they're going to book this fight for uh, September. Now, my only thing is, okay, when Nico does sign and agree to take this fight, okay, Guys, what's going to be, you know, is, is she going to pull out of the fight? Those are my questions. Will she pull out? Will she go through with the fight? You know, yeah, would that be, will she get an injury in camp? I mean, see guys, there's so many things when it comes to Nico Montano. And guys, I think if any of that happens, you know, um, I just think they need to go ahead, man, and just, you know, strip the belt and then let, the, let these other people fight for the title. Like, you can't have one person holding up the whole division. Or, you know, just have an interim belt. And then when Nico is ready, okay, then, you know, when she come back, the first fight she get is Valentina. Like, don't give her no outs, man, because I'm telling you, if she gets an out, you know, just like, what, Megan Anderson? You know, Megan Anderson came up with this, uh, this big old excuse, and, you know, she never got to fight Cyborg, you know, so they gave her Holly Holm. So I think Nico would try something like that. I'm not sure. But I don't think Nico likes being dictated to. And I don't think that she's going to be dictated to. I think Nico is just going to go you know, about doing it the way she wants to do it. Valentina gonna have to wait, <laughs> you know, and you can tell that the frustration level with Valentina is starting to grow, you know, starting to grow. But I kind of like this side because, you know, I was like, dang, man, I wish Valentina do some trash talking, man. Like, God, dog, you know, Valentina, here, let me help you how to trash talk. Man, I could give Valentina a course on what to say to get up under people's skin. I'm a master at it. I do it every day. I can get up under anybody's skin. I guarantee you. I can teach Valentina, look, hey, say this about it. If you say this, Valentina, she'll get mad. She'll lose her composure. Say this, Valentina. I'm telling y'all, I, I do it. I have a couple of fighters, though. They, they should call me. Hey, what can I say to guys like Kobe Covington? Oh, I know what you say to him. You know, hey, you talk about that, that, that Goomer Powell ass haircut he got, you know? Like telling me like somebody cut his hair with a butter knife. You know, like, start, man, you can get on that guy, man. I, I mean, you can work that dude so much, man. But, you know, let's get back to what we're talking about. So, you know, the whole thing about this whole fight, okay, is that, you know, is the fight going to happen? Would Nico, you know, do what she says she's going to do? Is, is she going to show up? You know, all of the above. And Valentina, you know, told her straight up, look, you're not Conor McGregor. <laughs> you're not Conor McGregor. And everybody know what that means. Like, Conor McGregor, he can walk into a room and he can dictate what he wants. He can negotiate his deals. Nico, Nico ain't negotiating no deals. Valentina, they really not negotiating no fight by fight deals. I mean, they not doing that. You know, basically, it's what's already in your contract, what you already negotiated. So you're gonna get what you're gonna get, and then you have to fight who they put in front of you. Like, you know, Valentina don't get an option. Like, hey, you know, hey, Valentina, hey, I want you to go over here and I want you to fight. You know, I want you to fight Gabby Garcia. Valentina be like, what? Well, I can't fight Gabby Garcia. She can't tell the UFC that. She, I'm just using Gabby Garcia as a name. I know some people would actually think I'm, I'm serious about it and take it seriously. No, guys. Okay? 
But you so Nico don't have any. She don't have any. She don't have wiggle room. She can't go in and demand anything. She can't do that. So I think the perks of having that belt is is a little bit more lucrative, you know, for Nico Montano. It's the perks of having a belt. But man, I hope that the UFC. I hope they never. And the coach means never. I hope they never ever, you know, give a belt based off a tough tournament. I hope they never do that again because this this is the kind of behavior you get, man. If I was Nico, I'd have been like, Nico, look, this is what you say. Look, I want to fight Valentina badly. You know, this is the fight that I've been thinking about day in and day out. You know, I got to get through some injuries. When I get through every last one of my injuries, when my injuries are good, then me and Valentina, I'm going to see you in the octagon. Valentina, I'm not afraid of you. Valentina, I will take this belt and I will slap you across the face. I'll slap you across the face with this belt, Valentina, after I beat you with it. See? Nico need to get that attitude. And you know what? The fans like myself, we would have been more forgiving. You know, we'd have been more forgiving. You know, we, we just would have been like, oh, okay, well, she's still injured, you know. Nah, you know, this girl talking about, well, Valentina been fighting longer than me. You know, Valentina, you know, Valentina got more experience against high-level fighters than me. Like, she started talking like that. I'm like, what, what the hell? What, what, what are you talking about with your scary ass? Like, girl, get your ass in that ring. Get your ass in that ring and take this ass whooping like you, like you know you, I, I, you come on. But that's what I would have said to Nico. Nico, you got to know how to talk to the casual fans. Because the casual fans not going to buy it. They ain't gonna buy that. They're not gonna buy it. And, and we didn't buy it. We didn't buy any of it. We was like, man, this girl don't wanna fight. Everybody in their mama can see this girl ain't want no smoke, man. She ain't want no smoke. And she gonna keep getting this work. Anybody that, that give me the opinion or the impression that they not ready to get this work, they go, we, we calling them out. We smoking them out. We smoking, I, I said smoke them out, okay? If Nico Montano don't sign this contract this week, we need to go hard on Nico Montano. And I'm talking about smoke her out. We started this campaign. We're going to finish this campaign. I've been smoking Nico Montano out. I've been smoking Jermaine Duran to me out. I don't, we done smoked out Megan Anderson. Megan Anderson done caught fire. We smoked out so much. We smoking them out. Because when these people want to duck, when they want to duck, guys, it is our responsibility to smoke them out. Anybody that duck, anybody that come up with a lame excuse or a reason why they think they can't fight, why they keep prolonging fights, they pulling out of fights, and the reasons are not secure. Now, they say they injured. Okay, cool. I don't want to see you injured, and then 10 days later, you sitting there, you know, you cutting flips on top of a darn trampoline or riding a bicycle. We smoking Amanda Nunez out. We smoking her out, too. I ain't got time for that, man. These peaky fighters playing hurt and to buy more time to... To get more time to fight, to get more time to hold on to the... Hey, look, we ain't doing that no more. We ain't doing that no more. You know what? Y'all finna get in this ring. You finna get in this octagon. And whatever you do, you finna, you finna give out an ass whooping or you finna take one. And that's just how it is. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.